Hello and welcome to Release Into Peace. And this is the merry month uh, of May. And I think May is celebrated in so many parts of the world, especially those parts that get chilly and cold in the winter because usually by May, everything starts loosening up, waking up, and softening. And uh, I know for myself, growing up, we all loved May. Um, not only because we were counting the days until school would be out, <laughs> but also we could see that things were starting to bloom um, and uh, blossom and we could smell the fragrances and it's a very cheerful, um, beautiful month. And, you know, they if you've seen the, the maypoles uh, and they put a, a very tall pole up and then the children uh, take a different, um, sort of like a cord that has a flower on it. And they go around the maypole and uh, I think they start moving quicker. And then sometimes, I don't know for sure, but um, you know, somebody may switch places and uh, it's really meant to uh, express the joy of the season of beautiful flowers and that beautiful spring that we all really are in awe of wherever we live, whenever it starts. Because we do have to go through in, in many climates, a cold, or very chilly winter where there's going to be either lots of rain or snow and ice where I grew up. Um, and so it's uh, a welcome sign. And it, it makes me ponder and think about that we have these seasons of our lives and um, sometimes, inevitably, we have seasons where we have that wonderful joy and pleasantness that is equivalent, really, to spring. And actually, it can move into that summer space where it's um, it's really a full bloom um, experience. It's very warm, and we are swimming and uh, doing lots and lots of activities outside. And then, you know, we get a little bit tired and. Uh, with all that activity. And then we start kind of coming in again in the fall. We feel the change. In the, the leaves start changing and having beautiful colors, beautiful. And we know that eventually those leaves will drop off and die. And then the tree go dormant for a while. Literally, many of the, the trees and shrubs, they look like they're really dead, but they're just sleeping for a while. So if we can feel and experience ourselves like children as we contemplate the seasons of our lives and that 
the soul, the soul is eternal and the soul never dies, but it too goes through its seasons with itself, with those around the soul, with the community and actually within the whole world, each soul is significant. Each one of us creates our own very unique vibration. And you know, they've done studies on um, vibration and being able to measure different energetic vibrations of people of their thoughts and their feelings. And so it means that ultimately each one of us has the ability to choose our own level of pure, clear, and lovely vibration. It takes practice. It takes practice to resonate with our highest self when things are not going well, or they don't appear to be going well. And so to have a pocket full of affirmations that we can use when um, things seem a little dull or um, not the way that we would like them to be or how we would like to feel. So, you know, one simple affirmation is very easy. It's just, I am a pure, peaceful, and powerful being of life. I am a pure, peaceful, powerful being of light. And in this light, I choose to radiate this pure energy to each and everyone around me. I think another really important affirmation that we all need to remind ourselves of is how lovable we are. That not only are we loving souls, but that we are very lovable naturally. And it really takes not holding any kind of um, negative feeling, even slightly towards another person, a situation or an outcome. Because that little thorn sometimes can prick and hold us back from really experiencing our love. 
and radiating that love naturally out into the atmosphere. You know, I had this picture. I'm going to show it to you. I hope you can see it. I just happened to pick it up before this lovely meeting we're having. And it's a beautiful rose. And I don't know how closely you can see it, but this is, to me, the symbol of a fully blossomed personality. When we give ourselves the right to be exactly who we are and to let go of, you know, those threads sometimes. They're just threads at times and we don't always recognize them that hold us back from really being this fully blossomed rose. And sometimes these can be old, um, old ha habits that we've had maybe since childhood or old memories of someone that hurt us. Um, or someone that was unkind. But I, as we mature, we realize that anyone who seems mean, uncaring, or, um, yeah, just isolated is really someone who is looking or feeling like they're not worthy. They're not good enough. And so when we shine our light each and every day with sweetness, with kindness, with enthusiasm, and good wishes and pure feelings, first for the self, and then for others. That vibration and that intention really allows others to shift and change and uplift themselves. And just imagine that we, as we're thinking about this and listening to this, that as if we're in a circle, I always love the circle, we're holding hands and it's May and maybe it's May Day and we're holding roses. Each one of us has our own unique, beautiful rose that we're holding. As we hold another's hand in our circle, and it's a circle of complete acceptance, and complete love for the self, and allowing that radiant um, light, that fragrance, to just keep emanating out into our circle and then as it increases, it just blows everywhere, all over the world this love, this self-care. And so today, my wish for you and myself 
in this beautiful month of May is that may you always remember that you are a blossoming, beautiful, meaningful rose with many, many petals of your own virtues and values, your own qualities, and that together we are changing this world into one gorgeous, 